To find a polynomial with the given zeros, we must first go backwards and write the polynomial in its factored form. Remember that when we were trying to find the zeros, we set the factor equal to zero and we solved. So in this case, we'll go backwards and negative two will actually become x plus two. And if we see that, if we have x equals negative two, if we bring the negative two back over to the x, we get a plus two. So x plus two is the factor that this zero came from. If we're using the zero of three, we have a factor of x minus three. It's just the opposite. And for the five, we have x minus five. Once we get it that far, we simply multiply everything out. x plus two times x minus three, when we FOIL it, we get x times x is x squared, x times negative three is negative three x, two times x is two x, and two times negative three is negative six. Combining like terms, we get x squared minus x minus six. We still now have to multiply this by x minus five. Distributing, we can still multiply the x squared times the x and the x squared times the minus five, and then move on to the negative x, multiply it by both terms. So what we wanna do is simply multiply here. We've multiplied x squared times x and minus five. Now we'll do negative x times x and minus five, and now we'll do the negative six. Now we want to combine all of our like terms. Now we have the polynomial that our zeros came from, and if we took our polynomial and we factored it, we would get zeros of negative two, three, and five. We could also put this in our calculator and look at the zeros, and we would get zeros of negative two, three, and five. But because the question asked us to actually find the polynomial, we went backwards, we multiplied it all out, and we now have the polynomial that this came from.